What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So as you guys can see, we have the coupe back in the garage. So we're gonna be working on that today. So I was checking out this engine bay last time and I was trying to find out what was missing because something seemed like it wasn't there. Come to find out there's a little sum sum that belongs here that's missing. So I ran over to the junkyard and I wanted to do something different on this car. Um, I didn't want to just get like a normal reservoir because I could have done it by taking the one out of the blue one and putting it in here because I have this one that I can throw in the blue one because it has two pumps um, and I wanted to get the little headlight sprayers working on the blue one so I didn't want to just swap because I didn't want to mess with this just yet and like I said I didn't want to get a normal one because when I did end up doing the the headlight sprayers on the blue one I would have an extra normal one and that would make no sense to buy one just because I want to delay a job so I stumbled upon a WRX Bug Eye Wagon and it had a pretty cool setup. Started messing with it and it ended up breaking so I couldn't use that one and there wasn't any more. There, the junkyard said it had two more WRXs, uh, GDs in the yard but I couldn't find any of them but I stumbled upon something else. I came across this Saab 92X which is essentially uh, WRX in a uh, Saab body but everything driveline wise is WRX even the interior actually so I looked at the uh, washer fluid reservoir and it looked just like the one on the WRX so I was like sweet I'll take that one so here we have a basically a GD Subaru Impreza uh, washer bottle but it actually came out of a Saab 92X so that's what we're going to title it because it sounds cooler. Saab 92X washer bottle and a GC8. So this one's actually pretty cool because it has two sprayers as well. So maybe in the future I either get some headlight sprayers on this car or maybe, maybe the rear wiper conversion on this. I don't know. But we'll have two pumps. We'll have one ready to go just in case I decide to do something else. So the cool thing about this one is that it lays inside the bumper like that. And so this is the only thing you see under the hood. This actually comes out somewhere around there, just the filler neck and that's all you see. So you'll still have this open space. So I thought this is perfect. So I don't know how well it'll fit, but I have confidence that we can make it work. So let's start by taking the bumper off and let's see what we need to move around to make it fit and see how well it fits without any modification. Gotta love those quick releases. We can get a general idea of where it goes. So these two tabs right here mount up there. So this would have to go uh, somewhere up there um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this airbag sensor off and move it to the side for now then I'm gonna remove this battery this battery is also gonna get moved to the trunk so basically I'm gonna have this whole area free but just in case I do have to keep a battery here I kind of want to open the hole closer to the end here than to the battery just in, like I said just in case I have to put this back so We'll move this, I'll mark it up as far back as it goes, and then we will see where we can open the hole for the filler neck. All right guys, sensor is out, battery is out. Um, it is a little bit rusty here. It, I mean, it's all surface rust anyways, other than this that's already broken, but 
it's not that bad. Uh, I think I am gonna spray a coat of like primer at least for now. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open a hole here. I hope I can get it done with this. Um, this way I can give myself some wiggle room. Let's see. As you guys can see, I'll have plenty of space. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a hole with this and feed this down and see where we're at. All right guys, so I just got done drilling the hole for the filler neck. So as you guys can see, it goes in, no problem. And if I could, I would just mount it right there just like that, and we would be okay. But the problem would be the bottom. So I can't leave the bottom like that because this actually has the little neck for the filler neck. Um, all the way in the back towards this wall right here so I need to move this as far back that way as possible and I don't think I can get that done with this hole because if I leave it here then we're poking out way too much Alright guys, I've been messing with this for a while now and I think I got it to where I need it to be. So I drilled out this hole right here and that's for this little left ear and then for the right side I made this little bracket that I'm going to be using to hold it up and it will be going on sort of kind of like this right here so I know it's good because this tab right here touches the top I was gonna cut it but if I decide to move this somewhere else later down the road this tab might be necessary so I'm gonna leave it I mean it's not getting in the way of anything if anything it's helping me line it up so we're gonna go ahead and get it all mocked up and see how it looks
All right, guys, I finally got it all mounted up. Um, the fitment is actually really nice. Let me show you guys. So up here, it cleared the headlight, no problem. Um, I ended up drilling a hole here to put this plastic clip in to hold the top. Now, this isn't going anywhere. I can just pop this off, fill it up, pop it on, good to go. It does clear the battery, so that's a plus. And like I said, I still have this free space right here. Now on the bottom, I did have to make a bracket over there, over here, and up here. But you can literally try to move it and it's not going anywhere. So like I said, I'm really liking this look of this being hidden in here and then nothing being there. I do want to get a coolant overflow tank that goes in the fender and comes out that hole right here. I have one right here, but I'm going to be putting this one on the blue one, so I can't use, I mean, I can use it on this one, but I would have to find another one for the blue one. Um, I think I want to locate a new one first before throwing this one on this car. Um, but like I said, it's gonna go somewhere like that. So all you're gonna see is two yellow caps there and then We'll have this open space and then also right here, this won't be here, so we'll have plenty of clearance from the radiator to the motor. So I'm really digging the look of this one. I love how it's gonna be hidden. I don't know if I wanna run this one on the blue one anymore because I know I can get that one with two pumps. So I may be locating another one and throwing that on the blue one as well because the blue one is gonna be swapped and I'm gonna want to have all the room in the engine bay that I can get so like I said I'm doing the coolant overflow in the fender and then this one being down uh, where the bumper is would be a plus so I don't think I'm going to be using this one so if any of you guys are looking for one that has two pumps that goes in the stock location for a GC hit me up because I will be selling this one so my only problem right now is that I don't have enough hose to actually hook it up and see them work uh, like I said, it didn't have one before, so it never, I guess, I mean, I, it did work, but I never had one, so I never saw it work. Uh, so I have to get new hose. I don't know if I'm going to just get a, a new long hose or just get a fitting here and then just get a little section of hose. And then I have to figure out which pump I'm going to be using and then figure it out from there which hose I have to use out of these two. But that's an issue to be dealt with another day. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap the bumper back on this car and pull it out of the garage because I hate leaving the blue one outside overnight. So I'm definitely gonna have to be pulling that one in. The garage queen needs her spot back. All right, guys, and just like that, bumper is on, car is out, this one is in, and we are good to go. If you guys made it this far, thanks a lot for checking out the video. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because we have a ton of GC content coming your way real soon. So I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.